How do you do, everybody? From Nashville, Tennessee, Prince Albert, the world's most popular smoking tobacco, presents another broadcast of the South's most popular radio program, the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> Got my Sunday shoes on, got my hair slicked down, having a big time tonight. Can of foot Prince Albert, boys, we're pleasure bound, having a big time tonight. I'm going to the hold down in my Sunday clothes, having a big time tonight. Gonna still be dancing when the rooster crows, having a big time tonight. Yes, friends, it's the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> The same program with the same people you have been listening to for the past 14 years. Only now we're on a network of stations that reaches all the way from the Mexican border to the mountains of Virginia. We are mighty proud and happy to be on this network, and we are mighty proud of our sponsor, the people who make Prince Albert smoking tobacco. Tonight, Prince Albert presents Uncle Dave Macon, the Dixie Dewdrop, Roy Acuff and his Smoky Mountain Boys, Ford Rush, Zeke Clements, the Dixie Yodler, and the Crook Brothers Band. And here again is George Hay, the solemn old judge, our master of ceremonies. Thank you, David Stone, very, very much, and the howdy neighbors. Here we are, slipping up on Halloween with the Grand Ole Opry boys and girls decked out in their harvest bib and tucker for tonight's shindig. The Grand Ole Opry house is filled with friends, not only from Tennessee, but from many neighboring states. Roy Acuff and his Smoky Mountain boys lead the way with a little intermezzo, early Americano, one of the more modern of the operas entitled, Whoa, Mule, Whoa, Let It Go, Roy! Big start on the Grand Ole Opry. Come on in, David Stone, and give us some good news. Men, here are some facts on smoking tobacco that may be news to some of you. Scientific tests were made recently at a leading independent laboratory to find the coolest smoking tobacco. The tests were scientific smoking bowl tests made with an automatic smoking and heat registering machine. Prince Albert burned 86 degrees cooler than the average of 30 other of the largest selling brands tested coolest of all. Now that's the national joy smoke for you folks. Cool burning, mild, yet full of good, rich flavor. Try Prince Albert. Well, friends, here he is, our senator from the Cannon County Hills with a new bill to put before the House. A bill which carries a heavy penalty for being down in the mouth. He's none other than that swashbuckling wheel horse with his five-gallon hat, gates ajar collar, gold teeth shining in the footlights, Three banjos and the smile that'll melt January snow on a hillside. Uncle Dave making the Dixie Doo Drop with his son Doris. The tune is an old favorite, chewing gum. All right, Uncle Dave. <laughs> Thank you. 
boy, that puts us right back in the middle of the road. Uh, here comes that hard-riding neighbor of ours from way down in Alabama, all dressed up for Saturday night. Raring to go. Zeke Clemens, the Dixie Yodler, will sing rockin' and rollin' in the saddle. All right, Zeke, take yes, it away. Oh, Rockin' and rollin' in the saddle, singing the song all day. Rockin' and rollin' in the saddle, I guess I was born that way. Working on the prairie with a song, working on the prairie all day long. Roping tying Brandon with a tune, just hoping to be done now pretty soon. You'll find me rockin' and rollin' in the saddle. Singing the song all day, rocking and rolling in the saddle. I guess I was born that way. High there, ran there till the day is done, and then we'll ride, ride, ride till the setting of the sun. You'll find me rocking and rolling in the saddle. Singing the song all day, rocking and rolling in the saddle. I guess I was born that way. The oldly lady, 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 Well, Zeke, that's a mighty stern tune there, old-timer. More power to you. That's what we call covering the ground. And right on top of that number comes a tune that has hit the sky of popularity. We present our old friend Ford Rush, whose baritone voice has put out a lot of good cheer for many years. He's going to sing, There's a Gold Mine in the Sky. All right, Ford? There's a gold mine in the sky far away. a lot of gold then we can still see it floating through the air come on in david and tell us some more good news about prince albert judge it's the famous prince albert crimp cut and the no bite process that account for the delightful cool smoking that you get from this famous brand that means real smoking comfort no parching or bite from excess heat just mild mellow smoking that lets all of the rich flavor of prince albert come through without a hint of harshness Every pipe full of Prince Albert's choice ripe tobaccos give you this cool smoking joy. No wonder Prince Albert is the national joy smoke. Thank you, David. Friends, for many moons, one of our most popular tunes has been Sparkling Blue Eyes. It seems that uh, one of the latest tricks of the songwriting business is to strike off an answer to a popular number. So Cousin Roy Acuff will now present an answer to Sparkling Blue Eyes. Roy, let's have it, and uh, when you get through, uh, we've got some more questions to ask, too. Let it go, boy. Never see that girl of mine that once did live down in old Caroline. The ramshackle shack is lonely today for the girl I love lies beneath the clay. Those two blue eyes are closed. I'll 
be at home with the one I love. The whippoorwills call from the lonesome pine that shades the grave of the girl of mine. Those sparkling eyes I always loved were closed in death by the one above. Those two blue eyes are closed in death forever in her grave she'll rest till some glad should come out to the farm and help me harness dynamite. He won't cooperate and he won't listen to reason. Uncle Dave, come on out here and get set for another little ditty. Bring Doris along because we'd like to hear that song about a romance back in the Cannon County Hills. You told us it was kissing on the sly. Shame on you, Uncle Dave. Well, you too, Doris. When a man falls in love with his little turtle dove, he will linger all around on her jaw. He will kiss her for a mother, a sister, or a brother Till her father comes and kicks him from the door Pulls a pistol from his pocket and vows he will cock it And blow away his giddy brain His jug, it says he mustn't chase and load it and he doesn't So they're kissing one another each again Yeah! For the old maids love it, the widows are above it, they've all got a finger in the pie. Some girls think 
get haughty at that do some very naughty, but you can bet they're all kissing on the sly. When a girl is 17, she will think it rather mean if she don't get on to something for a smang. She will make a fella shrivel, she will make him jump the river as she lingers on the big big mustang for the old maid love it the widows are above it the ball got a finger in the pie Sing some girls think it haughty if it is a bear and naughty but you can bet they're all kissing on the fly if you want to kiss her neatly, kiss her sweetly and completely. If you want to kiss her, so to kiss her twice. When you get a chance to kiss her, make a dodge or two and miss her. Then slap it on and kiss her once or twice. <laughs> yes, sir. I believe you got something there, Uncle Dave. Something mighty nice, yes, sir. Well, jump on your horse, Zeke, and come on in here. The old train's whistling. Good, that swelled. Well, tell us about the old freight train, blue -doo. Well, I was born in Dixie in the boomer shack, just a little shanty by the railroad track. The humming of the drivers was my lullaby. A freight train whistle taught me how to cry. I got the freight train blues. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I got them in the bottom of my rambling shoe. And when that whistle blows, I've got to go. Oh, Lordy, I guess I'm never going to lose the freight train blues. Now my daddy was a fireman and my mammy dear was the only daughter of an engineer. My sweetie makes good money and it ain't no joke. It's a shame the way I keep that good gal broke. I got the freight train blues. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I got them in the bottom of my rambling shoes. And when that whistle blows, I've got to go. Oh, Lordy, I guess I'm never going to lose the freight train blues. Now I know I'm old enough to stop this running around. I've tried a hundred times to quit and settle down. But every time I find a place I'd like to stay, I hear a freight train whistle and I'm on my way. I got the freight train blues, lordy, lordy, lordy. I got them in the bottom of my rambling shoe. And when that whistle blows, I've got to go. I guess I'm never going to lose the freight train blues. Oh, Zeke, that swell, that tune really wanna, makes a man want to ride the rod. While we're thinking of traveling, we're going to ship a beautiful number down to our many friends in the Lone Star State. And we're happy to have several Texas radio stations hooked up with us tonight. Ford Rush will sing Governor Leo Daniels' famous number, Beautiful Texas. Look out, Governor, we're coming at you. All right, Ford. If all and the beautiful story of the countries far over the sea from whence came our ancestors to establish this land of the free there are some folks who still like to travel to see what they have over there but when they go look it's not like the book, and they find there is none to compare. In the song about beautiful Texas, there is one thing we just have to say. 
about six million people who are proud that they're here to stay. It's great to be healthy and happy, and that seems to be our good faith. So let us all smile, for life is worthwhile when we live in this beautiful state. A beautiful, beautiful Texas, where the beautiful blue bonnets grow. We're proud of our forefathers who fought at the Alamo. You can live on the plains or the mountains or down where the sea breezes blow. And you're still in beautiful Texas, the most beautiful place that I know. Very yeah. nice, Ford. Roy, come on up here, will you, and give us a little of that old crawdad tune, will you, please? You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. Honey. You get a line and I'll get a pole, babe. Babe. You get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole, honey, baby mine. <laughs> Nice, Roy, nice. David, come on in here, will you please, and take over? I know that every one of you pipe smokers who hasn't tried Prince Albert will want to try it now that you have the facts on how much cooler it smokes. You just can't beat the PA type of cut known as crimp cut and the no-bite process for cool, mild, yet rich-tasting tobacco. And that's the tip to you making smokers, too. You'll find Prince Albert the mildest, yet richest-tasting tobacco you ever twirled up. And that means easier, faster, neater rolling, too, thanks to the PA crimp cut. And remember, there are around 70 fine roll-your-own cigarettes in every handy PA tin. Yes, there's no other tobacco like Prince Albert, men. Try a tin. Thank you, David. Now gather around, boys. Let's all join hands and play that old breakdown soldier's joy. Let it go, Roy. <laughs> Friends and neighbors, we've shucked about all the corn on the place and we're heading for the barn. Don't forget, the Grand Ole Opry will be heard at the same time, same station next Saturday night. We hope you'll be listening. This is George Hay, the solemn old judge speaking. Good night and good luck, everybody. And here's another thing to remember for your radio entertainment. Monday night, tune in Blondie, the adventures of that famous comic strip couple, Blondie and Dagwood Bumstead. Tuesday night, listen to Bob Crosby and the best Dixieland band in the land with Helen Ward and Johnny Mercer. And on Saturday night, there are two great radio programs for your entertainment, Benny Goodman and the Grand Ole Opry. Next week, Uncle Dave Macon and his company may be seen in person in North Carolina. Roy Acuff and his Smoky Mountain Boys will appear in Northern Florida and Alabama. And all during the week for your smoking enjoyment, it's Prince Albert Smoking Tobacco, the National Joy Smoke.
This is the National Broadcasting Company. Thank you.